guys welcome to Ramta solutions today as we continue with our lesson on vertical projectile motion we're looking at example 7 that says the velocity time graph on the right shows the motion of a ball that is thrown vertically upwards from the balcony of a building it takes 0 0.5 seconds for the ball to reach the highest point above the balcony after which it falls past the balcony and strikes the ground ignore effects of friction so when we look at this um, graph we can see this is the initial velocity this is the time it takes to reach maximum height this is the velocity to return to the initial position and this is the velocity to strike the ground and this is the time to strike the ground after being released right now without any waste of time let's get into this but before proceeding I want you to see that this is velocity versus time graph if you remember well I said velocity versus time graph they use the formula VF equals VI plus A delta T I had said this A serves as the gradient. Now, if this gradient, which is gravitational acceleration, as we look at this graph, if we see that the graph has a positive slope, it will mean that the gradient is positive. So if it's positive, it means downwards has been chosen to be positive for this motion. Okay? All right. Now, let's get into it. Number A, it says, calculate Tx. So we know the time it takes an object to reach maximum height is equal to the time it takes to return to the initial position, right? So to reach maximum height is 0 0.5. To return to initial position must also be 0 0.5. Now 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 must be one second. Okay, because 0, 0.5 plus 0, 0.5, right? Now, number B, we are looking for x, which is final velocity. So we will use the formula Vf equals Vi plus A delta T. What is Vf? It's called x. What is initial velocity? It's negative 9, oh, sorry. It's negative 4.9. What is our acceleration? It's positive 9.8. And the time taken is 1,7 meters. All right? Now let's get our answer. Negative 4.9 plus 9.8 times 1,7. Our answer is... 11,76 meters per second basically meters per second where downwards it's a positive answer can you guys see that it's 11,76 meters per second downwards right great now number C it says calculate the height of the building it says calculate the height of the building. You can use equations of motion to calculate the height of the building or you can use the area of the graphs or the area under the graphs. Okay, so option one, I will use equations of motion. In fact, option one, let me use area under the graph. Okay, I will use area under the graph. That's my option one. So, um, I will say height equals, let's look at this part here, it's a triangle. So I will use half base times height. Uh, let me call it bottom, <laughs> bottom part of the graph. Plus, let's look at this one here. It's also a triangle. I will still use half base times height. Let me call it top so I don't confuse things. Right above the t axis, in other words, 
when I mean bottom I mean below the t-axis when I say top I mean above the t-axis so let's go so basically this distance is half what is the base for the bottom it is 0 0,5 as we can see 0 0,5 what is the height here is it it's minus 4,9 plus half what is the base here 1,7 minus 0, 0,5 looks like it is 1,2 what is the height it was 11,76 it was 11,76 remember this term here was 11,76 okay it was 11, 7, 6. Now let's get our answer. 0, 0,25 times oh, yeah. negative 4,9 uh, plus 0, 0,6 times 11,76. Our answer is 5,83 meters, right? Our answer is 5,83 meters. That's the height of the building. The height of the building is 5,83 meters. All right. Now, let's look at option 2. Option 2 we will be looking at we will be looking at equations of motion rather we will use equations of motion not looking at we will be using equations of motion so we have initial velocity we have final velocity we have time this means we are spoiled for choice right but i prefer using um, this one here, delta y equals vi delta t plus half a delta t squared. Remember, I don't have to state upwards is positive or downwards is positive. Mm -mm. The information on the graph has already stated or dictated for me which motion is positive. Okay, remember, it said downwards is positive. Cool. Our initial velocity for the entire motion was negative 4,9. The duration for the entire motion was 1,7 meters. Our acceleration is now positive 9.8 because downwards is positive. Again, the time is still 1,7. Let's get it. Negative 4,9 into 1,7 plus 4,9 into 1,7 squared. We are still getting 5,83 meters. So the height of the building is 5,83 meters. All right, guys, with that being said, it's a wrap. See you next time. And bye-bye.